Well, a lot of people have a sweet tooth. I, however, have a french fry tooth, and I'm really not kidding. So today we are gonna make sweet potato fries, and we're gonna make them super crunchy using our air fryer and a couple of extra tips. So if you've been battling the soggy fry syndrome, uh, be sure to stay tuned. Welcome to the Spice Apron Cooking Show. My name is Heather and I am here to show you the easiest ways to get the best results in your kitchen and my focus is on clean eating. So today we are going to make crispy, crunchy, perfect sweet potato fries. And if you are looking for more clean eating recipes, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because that way you will be alerted every time I have a new video come out. I love McDonald's french fries. I grew up on McDonald's french fries. So this has been a very, very hard switch for me. So I was determined to find a french fry that actually satisfied my french fry tooth. But one of the challenges is how to make them crispy. And I've got the answer for that today. Now, first, let's talk about the sweet potatoes. Um, often you can find them long and skinny like this one, or a little bit uh, more round and fat. For french fries, I prefer this size, but um, these will also work just as well. You'll just get a little bit more uniform cut fries if you go for this shape of sweet potato. Now, I'm not gonna get into the whole debate about what is a yam versus a sweet potato. Um, yes, there are differences. Uh, I will say this, one thing I have noticed is that stores, grocery stores, now sort of lump them all together, probably because unfortunately, uh, I guess we weren't smart enough to figure it out. But go ahead and grab the ones that have the darker skin on the outside and we are looking for that bright orange flesh on the inside. So let's talk about the skins. You have two choices. You can either leave them with the peel on or you can peel them. Most people I think probably prefer to peel them. I don't. I prefer to leave the skin on and that is what I'm gonna do. Not only does it keep more of the nutrients and fiber in the final dish, but I actually prefer the texture. So I'm going to use this shape. I'm going to cut it and leave the skin on. So it's definitely important to get the shape correct when you want crispy french fries. So the way I do it is I cut off the very end of the sweet potato. Also, first of all, see that beautiful orange color right there? That is what you are going for for these particular sweet potato fries. Uh, and then you're gonna cut off both ends. Now, it is important to use a very sharp knife. Sweet potatoes can be a little bit challenging to cut. Now, this is the point that if you want to go ahead and peel it, please do so now. I am not going to. Now, the next step to perfectly cut french fries, by the way, a lot of people use french fry cutters. I will put a link to one of those below. I actually cut them by hand, but if you'd rather do it that way, please feel free to check out the link below. Now, this size is pretty small. It's about the size of my hand. If your sweet potato is longer than that, you wanna go ahead and cut it in half. I don't need to do that with this one. And by the way, the recipe to the full link is below. So it'll give you all of the tips and tricks uh, and secrets to perfect sweet potato fries. Now, cut it straight down the middle. Again, be careful because they are hard to cut. And once you have it cut in half like that, so look, I didn't do a very good job. I did like a third. So I'm gonna cut this one again. Okay, I'm working with thirds here. That's totally fine. What you want is a French fry, the end result to be between about a quarter and a half an inch. So I'm going to keep cutting planks until I have the appropriate size. So now I have my planks and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them into strips. And I usually stack at least two at a time because then you are making fewer cuts. Um, but if that's too hard or they're slipping around, just go ahead and do one at a time. Now I get asked the question all the time, are sweet potatoes actually healthier than white potatoes? And the answer is yes, they are. Uh, they have more fiber. They also have loads of vitamin A and vitamin C. So overall, yes, they're healthier. I believe they have a lower glycemic index. 
I'm not sure about that though. So if you know the answer to that, please put a comment below. And also if you know more health benefits for sweet potatoes, also put that in the comments below. Now, important to note, these do not have to be perfect. You do want them fairly uniform in size, but they really don't have to be perfect. So don't stress out about that. Okay, and there you have it. Perfectly cut sweet potato strips that are going to make perfect sweet potato fries. Now, the first little secret, and this is a debated secret out there, is to soak them in cold water. The real question is why do you do that? Number two, is it necessary with sweet potatoes? So the reason people soak potatoes before they fry them is because the water, it will pull out some of the starch that's in the potato and that will help it crisp up a lot better. Now, here's the truth. White potatoes are, have more starch than sweet potatoes. So it's really important to do if you are doing white potatoes. If you are doing sweet potatoes, you can skip this step, but I will say I've done it both ways with sweet potatoes and they do come out crispier if you do this step. However, they're still very, very good if you don't. So up to you, I am gonna go ahead and soak them and make sure that the water covers all of the sweet potatoes and then let them sit for one hour. Okay, once they have soaked for an hour, then you wanna drain them. And this is important, dry them. All right, these are drained. Now I'm just gonna pour them on my cutting board and dry them even if you don't soak them. You wanna dry them really, really, really well because moisture is the enemy to crispiness. So just lay them in one layer on your cutting board, use a towel, use paper towels, dry them, pat them dry, pat them on all sides until they are as dry as you can get them. Okay, these sweet potato strips are nice and dry now. Next thing to do is pour them into a bowl and we're gonna throw some seasonings onto them. And that leads us to our next secret, which is do you use cornstarch or do you not use cornstarch? And yes, I've also done that both ways. Uh, and here's what I'm gonna tell you. Sweet potato fries are a little bit hard to get crispy. Uh, you probably know that. It's probably why you're watching this video. But I have done them both ways and I will say adding the cornstarch to them does make a difference. Now it's not a huge difference, but it definitely does make a difference. So I do a little bit of cornstarch. Okay, so I actually was supposed to add avocado oil first, so I'm gonna do that now. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we'll find out. Okay, more important than the cornstarch, you really do need to add a little bit of oil. I use avocado oil because it has a higher smoke point. I love cooking with avocado oil. You do not need much. You need about a half a tablespoon per potato. So that was about a half a tablespoon. Um, you know, it's going to, <laughs> you know, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work doing the cornstarch first, but you know, we'll find out. That's the whole thing about cooking. You really, really don't need to be perfect. Okay, so the sweet potatoes are fully covered with a little bit of avocado oil and the cornstarch, and now time for the seasonings. And those of you who are going to give me a hard time about mixing it with my hands, just, you know, don't because I wash my hands all the time. It is for sure the easiest way to make sure things are thoroughly mixed. All right, so for the spices in here, I have salt and freshly ground pepper, and then I also have a little bit of cayenne pepper. Now, if you don't like the heat, get out of my kitchen. No, if you don't like the heat, just omit uh, the cayenne pepper, but it really, really is good with it. Okay, mix that all up, wash your hands. And now for the air fryer. I love my air fryer. I will put a link to it below. I use it all the time. I don't know if you guys saw, I did this video on air fryer chickpeas for a snack. Oh, so good and so healthy. And by the way, if you really are looking for uh, particularly anti-inflammatory foods to help with your health, I do have a handout. Go ahead and click that link below. It'll come straight to your inbox. It is the top 10 foods you should eat and shouldn't eat if you are concerned about inflammation. So let's get back to the air fryer. I love my air fryer for a couple of reasons. It's a very, very uh, large capacity. And by the way, no, this is not sponsored. Um, so I love that, but I also love that this one does not need to be preheated. So if yours needs to be preheated, your manufacturer's directions will tell you, please go ahead and preheat it. Mine does not require it. 
Now, this was kind of a large potato. So what is important here is that you put the sweet potatoes in one layer. So you might have to do two batches and that's totally fine. In between batches, the first batch that comes out that's done, just stick it in the oven on 250 degrees until the other batch is done. It'll be perfect. So if you look here, I think you can see that. Um, I am doing it in one layer with a little bit of space in between each potato. That way you will get the best results. Now, all you're gonna do is put it in your air fryer at 380 degrees. Uh, I start with 15 minutes, I shake it a couple times during, um, and you might have to add five minutes at the end if you like it extra crispy, like I do. Okay, they're done, I can hardly wait. Now, I think you can see this on one of those cameras. Um, look at how crispy those are. Now let's take them out. We'll put them on this little cutting board here. And then again, because I did two batches, I would just immediately throw the other batch in um, and, and maybe sneak a few fries while I'm waiting. Okay, would you look at those? Okay, they're perfect. I'm just gonna say, even my whole mess up uh, with the you know avocado oil and cornstarch, that did not seem to matter. If you wanna make them pretty, just add a little sprinkling of Italian parsley. And look at those, I am so excited. I like to dip mine in ketchup, but honestly, my very favorite is my garlic aioli sauce. Love, love, love that. In fact, I am gonna come out with that recipe soon. In the meantime, I am going to enjoy this super crispy, perfectly cooked sweet potato french fry. Mm. Okay, that cayenne, you gotta put it in. Even if you don't like the heat, it actually adds quite a bit of flavor. It's fantastic. I don't know if you can hear that. Yes, I just double dipped, but whatever. Can you hear the crunch? I hope you can because these are super crispy. Uh, you are going to love them. Thank you for watching the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. Happy cooking, happy eating, and I will see you next time. Oh, and next time I'm doing loaded sweet potato fries. You do not want to miss that.